In this demonstration of Barmley's front office for Symantec, what I'm going to do is take you through uh, a simple software harvesting process. And what this will do is show you how we can initiate a request in front office uh, that will then uh, release uh, underutilized uh, licenses um, to be reused. Okay, so first of all, we're in the service catalog. And uh, if I click down to the category uh, software and applications, uh, then there's no obvious process uh, that I can view there for um, kicking off um, the software harvesting. Uh, but if we click into there, we can see that what I've done is I've left the uh, standard requests that are on the front uh, under this standard requests uh, title. And uh, what I've done is to add under advanced requests uh, this uh, request for software reclaim. Now what we could normally do is also to uh, hide this uh, completely so that uh, users who didn't have a right uh, to kick off the software process uh, wouldn't be able to view it. Now I'm going to click on the software reclaim process and uh, when I, that takes me in um, it lays out the steps um, that need to be followed in order to uh, uh, reclaim the licenses. So first of all, step one, uh, we need to uh, externally to front office run a report to identify uh, the underutilized software titles and uh, who they belong to. And then what we need to do is to put those results into a simple two-column spreadsheet and uh, then we just attach a spreadsheet into this request. Now I'll show you what that spreadsheet looks like. Uh, you can see it's very simple. Uh, column A is the users and column B is the software titles. For the demo, we're just gonna use four, but clearly you could use as many uh, as you wanted to in this spreadsheet. Okay, so we'll go back now to, uh, to the request and I'll just attach that file. Now also, because we might be generating quite a few requests, uh, we have the option to put a project reference in here as well. So I'm just gonna put uh, rec 14 in as the uh, reference and then we're going to submit this request and on submitting this request uh, this request will now pass into semantic workflow as uh, workflow will now uh, interrogate uh, the contents of the spreadsheet and then it will start to pass out um, requests back into front office and these will then be generated and passed uh, to, to the users for approval if they want to keep that piece of software we can see now that the uh, status of this request is now in progress and what I'm going to do now is to go out to my email and we'll see if we can now pick up some emails that would have been generated uh, by the new uh, requests as they're passed into the system. You can see uh, that we've created a number of requests. Uh, we've got uh, the, uh, these requests here uh, where they're telling users that requests have been requested for them. And we've also got these approval emails now as well. And you can see now that we've been able to change the body of these emails. Uh, so on this one, we can say it's our come to our attention that a copy of Visio installed has not been used for some time and you must request approval within seven days in order to keep it. Uh, likewise, for these two up here, we've got a copy of uh, Word. And uh, for this one here, we've got a copy of Excel. So we tailored all of the emails uh, for each of the uh, pieces of software that we want to send out. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the click here. And what that will do is take me straight into the system and it'll allow me to uh, just approve uh, one of these requests. So if I just open that up, you can see all the details in the request. We've got things like the original request that was raised, a project reference as well that we put in to the uh, initiating request. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just click on uh, approval here and we'll just approve that request. Now if I go back as uh, the original uh, user and we just log into there. Now if we log in and uh, just have a look now at uh, what requests have been raised then uh, you'll see here that we've now got this uh, request to reclaim unused uh, software and what we've done is we've kicked off these top four requests now because I've got quite a few requests in there because I've been, been running quite a few projects today uh, what, what I'm going to do 
I'm going to go into the advanced search and uh, we're just going to select uh, the particular request type that we're raising the request for the unused software and uh, when I do that I now get this project reference field coming up and what I can do is uh, just search on uh, the particular reference number that we had. So there's my four requests that we raised from the original spreadsheet. Uh, you can see this was the one that we went in and approved, the one raised by Emma, uh, and so that's showing as stays completed. We've got one at the top as well. Uh, when we create these requests, what we've decided to do is to create them uh, by the system administrator. And because one of these is actually for the system administrator, and because we've got auto approval on, then this request was automatically approved. So there's two requests that are approved here, and uh, there's two uh, that are unapproved. And uh, again, as I just go into that request, uh, we can see all the details in there, and uh, we can we can see again this uh, linked ref request number, also the project uh, reference as, as well. And these were both uh, fields that came from the initiating request that we that we raised. Okay, so that's. Um, raised all those uh, requests and what we've done is we've speeded up for the demo process we've speeded up the time that it would take to before it before it sends out the uh, the final instruction and um, instead of waiting for seven days we're going to just wait for two minutes so in the uh, email we can now see uh, the uh, request that's now been raised to initiate the removal of the software and we can see now that there's just these two items remaining, the two items that we didn't approve. So we've got the Visio uh, and the Word. And uh, that completes now the uh, demonstration of this uh, software request process. Uh, if you have any more questions, then uh, please go to uh, www.bomley.com. Uh, thanks.